Bitcoin ready for a big move going into January 2024. We got this wonderfully technical symmetrical triangle forming with the constricting coiling up price action ready for a big explosive move out of this triangle as we've just seen the fireworks on New Year's Eve. Now we're looking for the fireworks on the charts and I will be preparing you for everything that you need to know to trade this success, to trade this triangle successfully, okay? I want to be talking through the fake out scenario because this is where a lot of people will lose a lot of money. I'm telling you, it's happening time and time and time again. People get a little bit too excited as the triangle starts to break out and they're getting their breakout trades. A little bit of FOMO occurs and, uh, you know, a big whipsaw price action wrecking and liquidating a lot of people. So I want to talk you through that so you can be on the champion side and actually make some profits on the fake outs that are going to be occurring so uh yeah i think it's going to be a wonderful one i'm really looking forward to it let's just start off january as we mean to go on for the rest of the year right so yeah i hope that you have got maybe some goals set you got something that you want to achieve and i hope it's in trading right you have some trading goals you want to make some profits and i hope you can be doing that alongside us with chart champions i'm going to be here every single day uh, coming in here analyzing the charts taking trades and absolutely crushing it I'm personally extremely excited uh, extremely you know just positive and looking forward I think it's going to be a wonderful year not only on the charts in terms of the volatility and the opportunities but just for myself as well just really nice to be back in a routine coming in here every day and just enjoying myself and, and you know this is what I love to do and yeah, I'm, I'm just personally happy to be to be here. So yeah, hope that you enjoy this video. Let's crush it together and let's start looking at this triangle. And what a wonderful triangle it is, right? Really simply going from high to low, back up to the high. And then this is where we came back to the low. So we started to recognize this triangle at the end of December been posting it in the discord this is obviously the uh champions discord but we have the triangle in play uh we have we're getting a little bit of a bounce here off the daily i done a champions live stream where i told my team at this point you know i'm not longing here uh we are getting a bit of a reaction bounce off the daily but i've got no interest in the long from here um over the next you know 24 48 hours we did finally start to break down through the daily that we had here and made our way to the bottom of the triangle so you can see the bottom of the triangle you had this confluence with the weekly really don't class it as a strong level but you did get a reaction right so you bounce off of the low of the triangle bounce and then you retest the cc and this is where you can open longs uh, with a very small invalidation why because at this point you've got there the bounce off of the weekly okay so you wait for the bottom of the triangle bounce off of the weekly and then you get that bounce on a CC retest. And here, you know, you can long at the CC, stop loss below the low. That then gives you the invalidation. It gives you an entry trigger. And you can see from here, I'll go down on a lower term time frame, just so you can see how this progressed. Okay, so then you take your Fibonacci from low up to the higher that bounce. You can see how you retest that CC. And from that, you've got a lovely bounce to the upside and then if you take your fibonacci basically you can start to build this up like a three drives pattern really so you can see then from the low of that bounce up to then the next high you can see then into the early hours you get a another cc fibonacci retest with a bit of a bounce underway so what i like to do here is then start to build up some trend lines okay i then like to look at channels that are forming and see what we have going on to here so one pattern that i really like is a three drives pattern and this is where we get a first drive okay a second drive and a third drive to the upside it's called a three drives pattern and that's where you look for a reversal what i prefer though on this particular one is drawing some trend lines okay we can see if we draw our trend line along the low we've lost this first low okay so this will be our trend line touch one two three loss and retest so what i'm going to do just to you know just to a lot of technical analysis is at first experimenting right so we want to draw some trend lines here and see what we got going on do i like the look of this my answer to this initially would be no but what i can do now is delete those trend lines and put on a parallel channel and i can see to myself do i like the parallel channel more than i like those trend lines so let's see let's add this on together from the two lows that we have up to those highs i can say yes this is something i really like look at this then so we have the perfect respect then off of the low 
the high previously. I love to see that. And then you can see here, perfect respect, perfect respect. And of course, that was the touch point that we used. Then when you look at the middle of the channel, look at this, respect off the middle of the channel, respect off the middle of the channel. So this I can say to myself, I really like this parallel channel. This then gives me a very nice anchorage point in terms of, okay, I can now build up a bigger picture. We are currently bouncing off of the weekly, which was our, well, really simply weekly level on that triangle low. From that, we got our bounce, retested the CC, bounce into the CC, okay? And we got a upward sloping parallel channel with currently a little bit of resistance off of the midpoint of this channel. This is just giving me a picture. This is more of a lower term time frame picture, but it does help build my bias. What I'm gonna do is remove those levels and give a little bit of a zoom out. Okay, the next thing that I'll do to, for myself, building up, up more of a context, I'll always say this when I'm educating, that we absolutely need to rely on context. And that is why I like to review always the past few days of price action, because if we do not understand what has happened in the past few days, we do not have any context of what is happening now. You need to know where price has been coming from to understand where it is likely probable to go next. It's absolutely key. So with that, building up of a picture, building up that context, what I love to do is build, you know, have a volume profile. So I'll pull out my fixed range tool and I'll look really where I see the start of the range forming. And we can see here, you know, ultimately value area low, back into the range point of control, through value area low onto the weekly, reclaim a value area low. So I know that I've got important local support at the value area low still, and a big, big resistance at the range point of control, okay? So that's the value area high. Look at this, the value area high I really like because what can we see here on the value area high? We can actually see how that could line up with a fake out of our triangle. So let's just play the scenario for a second that we get a move to the upside and what would look like a breakout at the time. Let's say we do this. Okay, the fake out scenario is that we actually then end up coming down after taking that liquidity and getting a much bigger flush to the downside. So essentially you come up, take some highs or at least fake out of the triangle, could just be a smaller move, and you come back in. So this is why I do not like to long breakouts of triangles, neither short breakdowns. I'm much more interested if we start to break up here in looking for a short if we get the fake out and a long trade if we get the fake out of the low. So just like we can see the fake out of the high, we look for the fake out of the low. And I want to make this extremely clear. I would only short the highs or long the lows if I have confirmation of that fake out. If we simply get a break out, which means we break above or below the triangle trend lines and we start to see strength on that breakout, that would mean an increase in volume. That is when I would say to myself, okay, this is a legit breakout and I can start to look now for the triangle targets. So you can see I'm very reactionary when it comes to the charts. I can look at the technical analysis and I can have my personal bias of where I believe the triangle is going to break to. For example, you know, do I have more of a bullish or bearish bias? I formulate that bias by analyzing the charts. But I understand that my bias when it comes to the trade is irrelevant, right? So I'm going to be looking at the information and data given to me live in the time upon having an alert triggered as we start to get a breakout of that triangle. What I will do, as soon as I get the alert go off, again, I do not mind if it's breaking down or breaking up. I can make profits either way. Myself as a trader, I have no underlying bias of, you know, I need this to go up, I need this to go down. I'm not a perma bull, I'm not a perma bear. I am a trader that makes money either way in this market. So I'll have my alert set and I'll wait for that break. Once we get a break of that trend line, I will zoom in on the order flow. With that order flow, I'll have real-time data, volume data given to me, which will give me a great advantage to analyze, is this likely a real breakout or are we getting more of a fake out? To analyze that, I start to use things such as open interest, CVD, delta, and trade count. These are some really useful order flow tools uh, that can give me a very high probability of whether we're likely to get the breakout or the fake out. This is everything that we teach, of course, inside of 
our you know our, our membership mentorship plan okay so these are all theories that we we teach and i use on a regular basis um of course now i want to talk you through the you know the, the legit targets and we have some really lovely confluence at these targets by the way uh before i move on to that i just want to do really quickly a reminder of you uh, that in the last video that we done which was the uh round table uh myself coach rivalry coach severin we had scott coming in to be the question guy a uh, question guy like the the host of the show and uh, unfortunately eagle was ill there was a lot of comments where's eagle eagle was ill for this one but uh he'll be on the next one <laughs> and uh, this is something where we come together every month and we decided to release this over here on youtube for you so if you haven't watched it already go check it out it was a nice video you can learn some stuff about myself and the other coaches and understand what we are looking for in 2024 and really evaluating our 2023 so just wanted to remind you all of that and of course a reminder i'll give you every video and that is if you want to see more of myself if you want to see more of the other coaches learn you know really strive push forwards complete and hit your goals then you know where to be if it's to trade it's chart champions we come in here every day we got the daily live stream updates we got the educational library we got the live trading streams where you can see that theory put into action in real time dedicated altcoin streams amas trade recaps of course then the round tables too you got everything that you need to succeed uh on chartchampions.com this is the one-stop shop basically for all of your trading needs everything that you can think about trading we've got covered for you uh so yeah if you want more from myself well i'll be doing a live stream tomorrow morning in the daily morning trading updates where we just go into the charts we look at what's for the day ahead and we find a nice juicy setup for you so that's what we got tomorrow morning then in the afternoon we got more live trading so tomorrow we're already back action packed that's just as i said at the start of the video start as we mean to go on we'll be here every day for you in 2024 giving out new education new strategies daily updates live trading everything that you need and i'm very proud and happy of what we're offering here at chart champions so that's enough of that and then let's end with the targets that we have of this triangle so i actually really like the confluence as i mentioned on the break of this okay why because we got these two lovely npocs so this is our triangle of course and i think you absolutely need to be aware of the fake out and that's why i started with the fake out scenario that's where we get a breakout but it ends out being a little bit of fake out. And how can we see that? Well, it doesn't hit the bigger targets. We more get a move that's like boom and then a reversal, right? So that's what we're, the fake out scenario. A breakout, and this is, remember, we're looking at the order flow live in the time, which under the courses, we have the whole Atus strategy and we have the whole footprint strategies. This is where you come in and Hello, understand everybody. everything about the footprint charts right and so with that information we'll learn you know we'll, we'll see and analyze in the time is it a real legit breakout if it is well then we don't look for the fake out we don't look for the you know the reversal contrarian trade we just look to follow the chart and again i wouldn't trade the breakout i'd remain patient for us to hit the targets and this really sits at around forty-eight thousand seven hundred zone Okay, to the low of around 37,000 zone. I like this. This isn't the exact targets, but you can see if you actually take the legit target, it's on that zone. Okay, and to the downside, you can see very similar. This is slightly above. This would be that's so well, that would be slightly above this target, and you can see this would be a slight front run. Of this target uh where you look for the uh, legit targets but what's lovely about those targets is the confluence that you have with these big monthly npo seats you know these are big nice strong levels of course you do have levels prior to this for example down here we have a weekly naked point of control which i do feel is a very nice level with confluence and of course up here at 47k you have a massive range uh previous range point of control so this is what i mean you have to be prepared in trading with i would always say this i'll end with a little uh, golden reminder for you all right you have to have a bullish scenario and a bearish scenario you have to be planned for both scenarios don't only be booking bullish don't only be looking 
bearish. Be prepared and planned for both. Of course, only trade one scenario, which we feel is the highest probability. But as, as always, trading is a game of probabilities. Even myself, doing this over a decade, <laughs> I come to see that every day in the charts. You know, I'm not winning every trade I take. I do take losses. And that is part of the game. What we need to do is focus on our risk management, having a good strategy that will, you know, last over a set of 10 trades. You know, we can walk away with seven wins. If we take seven out of 10 wins, hey, we understand those losses are natural. They will happen. It is a game of probabilities, but we trade with high probabilities in our favor, the trades. That way we can take those long strings. We're in this for the long term. We we'll always say this is a journey, right? This is a career. We are treating trading as a business. We are doing it very seriously. And that is how we, you know, we outperform the market time and time again, because we put in the time, we put in the effort and we show up every single day. So yeah, that will be myself here signing out. If you want to see more of me, if you want to see more of the coaches, we'll be here for you every day in the Discord. This is where the, you know, the members only section, of course, on YouTube, we're here maybe once a week. Uh, but if you want us every single day, you know where to get us, chartchampions.com. Come over to the Champions Membership Package and that is where you'll get daily access to it. For the Contenders, by the way, the Tem Contenders is a cheaper package which is designed to give you just solely the educational material, which is the best place to start, by the way. Uh, you want to start off in there, come over, look at the speed runs, look at the courses, and this is where you can get access to all of the videos. Once you've you know, really understood all that theory, you've understood the processes, you've learnt and studied those lessons, that's where you can upgrade to champions, right? And then you can start to watch the live trading so you can get the in-time real updates of what we're looking at and, you know, the outlooks for the day and the daily streams. So that's the process. I think you're going to absolutely love it, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to sign out here. I'm going to say I am ultra excited for this year. I think it's going to be the best year yet. In terms of the charts with the ETFs around the corner, but also just in terms of the service and, you know, the ex, you know, just, just to be here back in the routine. I'm just ultra looking forward to it, honestly. Like, it's going to be good. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see me, you know where to be. And I'm going to wrap up there and just say, I suck as always ending the video. Still in my good old, I don't know, not old so much old anymore, but got my PJs on. I'm still the same as always. Love you all so much. Let's crush the charts together. I truly wish you the best. And uh, yeah, love you all, CC Paul. Cheers, thank you. And that is me signing out. Goodbye. Thank you.